Okay, so with the collaboration coming out tomorrow, uh, one question that everyone has been okay, no one actually asked it yet. <laughs> but yeah, I have built the transformation for the Dark Amazon, and the Dark Amazon transformation increases. Unfortunately, like if I waited for this, it would take like years for it to show up, but it will increase your monster's affinity by flat 7 XP every time you kill an enemy on the field, right? Uh, it has an 8 hour duration and 5 hour cooldown, which means that at maximum you can use it for 16 hours a day, right? Use it 8, you wait for the cool time, you use it another 8, and by the time the second cool time is up, uh, the daily reset will happen and it will refresh your uh, daily 8 hours again, right? So the deal with this is I've tried to test how much affinity you can gain using this transformation and first of all whether it is a decent method compared to uh, using something like food or XP repeater, not XP but uh, like those affinity repeater quests, right? And whether it's worth it over something like a dark cowgirl transformation which actually uh, for the majority of people will be the preferred one since she drops those super useful uh, items for Magitek, right? So what I did with this transformation is I have AFK farmed for 15 minutes in four different uh, scenarios, right? So I pick uh, two random areas. One of them was a com like completely random area in Rudlin. And the second was is a area in Contana, I believe. Uh, just to be sure, I'll showcase which one was it, at least for Contana, right? So if we go to Contana, I essentially farmed the area next to this uh, mini boss, right? So I started completely in the center where this boss spawns, and in a 50 meter radius, uh, I let it auto AFK farm uh, with my team, right? Same team. Uh, transformations I used was for the first test I used the dark cowgirl transformation which would essentially it doesn't mean, matter which one you use you can use dark cowgirl you can just use your summoner right uh, the affinity you get will be the same and for the second one I used the dark amazon and tested out how much uh, affinity you can gain in both scenarios right and yeah, here are the results that I got, and I'll try to explain a bit how it works out, right? So, two areas, as I mentioned, in Rudlin, I tried with no transmog, or essentially just any transmog that isn't uh, affecting affinity levels, right? And the second one was with the dark Amazon transmog, and the affinity we measured was on Kraker, right? I tested everything with this monster in the team, there were, of course, two other units that have been gaining affinity because it affects your whole team, right? Uh, but the main one I was testing on was Kaka. She was level 1 at the time of testing and she is still level 1, so I could test uh, it out pretty easily, right? And overall, here are the results. So I found for exactly 15 minutes, timed it with the stopwatch and everything like that, right? And here's how much XP I got. So in Contana, without the transmog, I got... 1.61% uh, of her level in 15 minutes, and with the transmog, I got 4.55%, right? Now with Rudlin, again, keep in mind, uh, it could be the density on the monsters, it could be uh, like the various affinity you gain from each continent, right? Like, I cannot determine that. Uh, but in Rudlin, it was a little bit less compared to Contana, right? So without Transmog, I got 1.4% of her XP in 15 minutes. And with the Transmog, I got close to 4%, right? And for the exact XP values, you can see them right here. So 1.4% is exactly 1,304 XP, right? Uh, for the no Transmog in Contana, I got 1,500. Uh, of course, you can measure this by just seeing how much XP the food gives, right? Like, uh, close to 10,000 XP is exactly 10.56%, and from that you can just make an equation and find out the exact XP amount for that. And with those XP amounts, I also timed out how much you can get with and without transmogs in an hour, as well as if you use the full 16 hours per day that you can have your transmog, right? So uh, per hour you can start anywhere from around 5,000 and with the transmog uh, at least 
Keep in mind that this is not in some super popular area. All of these were done in an area that is completely empty, but just has some monsters, right? There are some more populated areas where there are uh, higher monster densities. I do not want to like compromise those spots for whoever uses them, right? But yeah, uh, on average, I got up to around 19,000 XP per hour by using the transformation, right? And if you use the transmog for the full amount, you can get up to 300,000 affinity XP per day, right? And what this means is someone in the public discord has done calculations on how much XP you actually need to level up a unit uh, from level 0 to level 5. It says level 1 to level 5, but I clarified with the person uh, he meant level 0 to level 5, right? Level 0 to level 3. So for nat 5s, you need a 1.3 million XP, right? For nat 4s, you need a little bit less, 1.1 million. Uh, for nat 3s, you need just shy of 1 million XP. And for nat 1s and nat 2s, it looks like those are the same and you need 665k XP. Uh, to go from level 0 to level 5 affinity, right? And with these in mind, we can actually calculate how much AFK farming it would actually take for us to get to the maximum level. And for this one, if we are using the transformation and we are farming in something like a Contana, the area that I specified, with no one around to steal your XP, right? Uh, you are looking at around 300,000 XP per day. And if we steal that amount right here, so we go still that uh we divided by the amount that we can get in a day right so just this and you can see that in just over four days you are able to level up affinity of three of your units from level zero to level five and this of course uh, covers net fives only right this is the, at least the monsters that we care about the most now do keep in mind if you afk farm with any other uh, transformation or even without transformation you do still get affinity right and if you want to see the raw gains just from the transmog right you would need to subtract this amount from the total amount here and after that it would be a bit over 200,000 a day extra XP you get just from the transformation, right? But if you find with the transformation, you get over 300,000 XP. The cool thing about this is each transformation, not only does it unlock like various effects, right? It also comes with crystals. So even if you are not someone who is planning to like level up affinity of le to level five for all of your collab units and all of that, right? You can actually make some good crystal profit from this. So nat 5s and nat 4 units uh, will reward you 250 crystals for level 3 and 500 crystals for level 5, right? So uh, yeah, there's a nat 5 there. Uh, let's find some nat 4. Uh, there we go. You can see the same crystal amount. And nat 4s even need lower XP total in order to level up to level 5. So those will give you even more profit. I am going to calculate profit on the worst case scenario because... Uh, you will see that if you take like nat 4s, nat 3s, you will get even more profit, right? Now for nat 3s uh, and below, I think, uh, you get crystals every level after level 2 because there are no uh, like book effects specific to them. All of the book effects for nat 3s and below work for all monsters, right? So for nat 3s, you can see that uh, you get around, I think that's like 500 crystals, right? And let me quickly find a nat 1 or something like that. Yeah, it looks like nat 1s, same thing, same amount of crystals. And yeah, with these, if we keep this in mind, right? Uh, it takes around 4.3 days to level up 3 nat 5s to maximum affinity level, right? So if we just memorize this number, oh, I mean, we can just memorize it ourselves, right? Uh, what we can take is the total reward we get from these, right? So we get 750 crystals, but we can also level up affinity of three units at once, right? Because we can put three units in our field team. That means in total we can get 2250 crystals once we level up all three of them to level five, right? And if we just divide by the amount of time it takes in days to level them up, you can see that just by AFKing for the maximum amount of time, you can actually make over 500 crystals per day. 
and you have a lot of opportunities to make this because there are a lot of net fives in the game and they will keep adding them so with each net five that they add that's essentially 750 crystals that you can get and yeah if you look at how many net fives there are right like let's say uh 7 14 21 uh i'm gonna count the collab units why not right uh 35 that's over 40 net fives just for one element right like uh, five of each for other elements and you're looking at around 200 net fives right 750 crystals each that is a lot of crystals let me tell you <laughs> but yeah uh so overall is the dark amazon transformation worth it i would say cowgirl is really good but once you start getting a lot of crystals like right? like you're hitting a million plus you can chill out with the alterations because you will not be able to use them fast enough right you in order to use this daily at least for the random alteration you need 96,000 crystals per day right so if you see that you are quite stocked up on the crystalline you can start using the dark amazon transformation i think it's the second best transformation when it comes to afk farming at least right so yeah I'm not gonna do calculations whether it's worth it compared to like food and stuff because that costs gold, that costs uh, a summoner pass, that's a lot more calculations included, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, personally, I would favor this one, but once it is on cooldown, this one is super useful or once you have a lot of crystalline, dark Amazon in Amazon is definitely a very, very good choice for AFK farming, yeah? And yeah, that's about it and peace.